Bella Salon and Day Spa, located at 41 West Main Street in Northeast Pennsylvania, proudly supports Chautauqua Sunrise and its volunteers. More information at bellasalonanddayspa.net. Westfield Memorial Hospital provides high quality health care to residents of Western New York, offering patients the most sophisticated medical advancements while keeping the ease and familiarity of a community hospital. Support for Chautauqua Sunrise has been provided by WRFA 107.9 FM, Jamestown's public radio station, streaming online 24-7 at WRFALP.com. Low power to the people. Chautauqua Sunrise is made possible by a grant from Fredonia Place, a continuing care retirement community providing dignity in a modern luxury environment. Peter's Restaurant, a family tradition for over 50 years in downtown Ripley, is a proud supporter of Chautauqua Sunrise. Peter's provides all-day dining, banquet services, and custom catering, specializing in pie. From the Access Chautauqua Studios in Mayville, it's Chautauqua Sunrise. Chautauqua Sunrise is hosted by Doc Hamels and supported by the award-winning volunteers at Access Chautauqua. We are here to share local news, colorful interviews, and events of interest to everyone. Chautauqua Sunrise is broadcast live Saturday mornings each week from 9 to 10 a.m. Send events via email or call us live. Check us out on YouTube and Facebook. And now, from the Access Chautauqua Studios, it's Chautauqua Sunrise. Good morning, everybody. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. I'm Doc Hamels, and you're watching Chautauqua Sunrise. And I want to say, first of all, good morning to all of our uh, viewers this morning in Chautauqua County. They're catching us here on channel 1301 on Access Chautauqua. I want to say good afternoon to all those that are listening to us on WRFA 107.9, low power to the people in Jamestown. So glad you could uh, tune in this afternoon, Tuesday at one o'clock. And to the rest of you that are watching us live streaming throughout the world, hello. All right, we've got a wonderful show in store for you today. We started this about three years ago and uh, I'll introduce my guest here in a little bit, hang on. But we uh, have a special holiday show for you and, and we just love doing this show. And uh, so I encourage you to stay tuned and, uh, and remember if uh, you're watching this through streaming, you'd always catch us again on YouTube once it's posted. And we're gonna be there forever and ever until YouTube runs out of money. So we'll be there. So a few things I wanna share because I do wanna move along today. Um, uh, um, oh yes. Emerald, you don't have your Christmas shopping done yet? Justin, you got your Christmas shopping done yet? Yep. You're good to go. Okay, I think I'm just about there. It's that time of year we <laughs> get kind of like crazy, but uh, I know it's a fun time too. So I, I hope everybody's having a, a great weekend for that. Um, want to do a shout out to all those volunteers that help with the uh, um, Santa for Senior project with the Office for the Aging. Uh, my uh, Rotary Club, the Westfield Mabel Rotary Club, a few of us went out and delivered packages to seniors and boy, it was just a really moving and great experience to, to meet some of the folks and, uh, and share the packages that the Office for the Aging uh, assembled. Um, there was blankets and goodies and canned hams and cookies and all kinds of fun things for the seniors. And um, so I just want to make sure that you remember that there are folks out there that don't have family or friends and make sure that, you know, stop by, drop them off something to eat or uh, invite them to your home or dr drop them a Christmas card or whatever. So anyways, good on you, Office for the Aging. Well done. Uh, Linda Spaulding, I know you're always watching, so uh, uh, share that with your colleagues, would you? All right. Um, also, today's December 21st. You know, the, you know what's so special about today? It's the shortest day of the year, so uh, by the time I got done with the show, it would be time for bed practically. I think there's like nine hours of sleep here. 
Uh, I was I heard something about in Alaska. They uh, up in Fairbanks, they got like three hours and twenty minutes of of daylight. I can't even imagine that. That would be horrible. I'd be I'd be walking in my sleep. All right. Well, anyways, uh, I have some announcements to share with you, and then we're going to go to a little advertisement, and then to our special guest today. So this comes from the Chamber of Commerce of Chautauqua County. Get my specs on here. And it, <clears throat> now you know that there's something going on up in Fredonia. So this is um, something from Todd Tranum. It says, a resounding thank you to all who helped uh, to call attention to Fredonia, the small business revolution. Together they've accomplished a lot and together they're gonna continue to drive uh, to get Fredonia listed in the top five. We've been talking about this the last couple of weeks. Good on them. Business people, community leaders, residents, students, and people from all walks of life who just love Fredonia have all come together to make our collective voices heard. Can you talk that fast? I can. Uh, in this busy holiday season, we hope uh, you will make take a moment out to, of your day. Now you're messing me up. To keep posting on social media for uh, Hashtag MyFredonia. Keep the momentum rolling forward on your personal and business pages on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Uh, chat. Post your photos, stories, and information about your favorite business or your favorite TV show. Uh, your active participation will make a difference uh, as the team from Deluxe and Small Business Revolution determine which communities get to move into the voting round for season five. And remember, folks, $500,000 is riding on that. I know, Justin, that seems hardly that's a half a million dollars to the winning community um, in this small business revolution. So we're going to keep uh, updating you all on that. So as it says here, hang in there uh, with them and keep posting. All right. Then I got this other couple pages here. Uh, something coming up called Doors Open. Now, this is kind of like a mark your calendar kind of a thing. It's going to be January 18th, which seems like a long ways to go because we still got to get through Christmas and New Year's, but it'll be here before you know it. Doors Open has become a tradition in Jamestown, and attendance grows each year. January 18th is the date this year as local attractions invite, bless you, area residents to visit and learn about the amazing local museums, galleries, and assets we have in the Jamestown area. History, nature, comedy, and art are on full display, and you can enter to win prizes. Most attractions will be open from 10 to 5 p.m., and this is the best part, admission is free. Dozens of local restaurants and retail shops will also be open, but you got to pay for that for dining pleasure. Uh, watch for the list of attractions we'll be announcing here on Chautauqua Sunrise, and you're going to see in the paper. Anyways, very cool. January 18th is going to be a fun day. Then uh, in February coming up, another market calendar, and we know this very much right here in uh, this area. The President's Day Weekend Winter Festival will be uh, here before you know it. It's a tremendous community event, and you can help by volunteering. If you're interested, the, uh, they're going to be holding the festival Saturday, February 15th, and Sunday the 16th for a variety of projects, including and helping with the games and contests. There's going to be a chili cook-off, a scavenger hunt, a whole lot more. If you're interested, give Jacqueline Sasso a call at 366-6200. All right, <clears throat> on to the next. Oh, you know, I should start charging th this group. I have been on, this. what did I say, 287 shows? 86. I, 286 shows. I have announced this organization every single show since I started. You ready? From Jamestown, the Infinity Performing Arts. Inf here we go. The Infinity, Infinity Visual and Performing Arts welcomes a new instructor, Kyla Walker. Kayla. Well, my granddaughter is Kyla, so I guess I got to change it. Her name now is Kyla. No, <laughs> Kayla Walker will be. Well, what a great shot. Kayla Walker will be joining the Infinity Dance Department as their newest hip-hop dance instructor. She is currently offering lessons and group classes to students and adults of all ages. Kayla, uh, at the age of 24, excels at three different kinds of art. Uh, if caring for young children is another f art form. She's more than just an aspiring singer, dancer, and photographer. Kayla, I want to say it differently, works at the YWCA as an assistant preschool teacher. On the side, she works with more children of similar ages and older in mentoring, excuse me, hang on, and, um, and older in mentoring group focused and fabulous. Having gone through Jamestown Community College for an education in photography while she worked at the YWCA, 
a in daycare. She honed her skills to prepare for uh, running her own business. For the past four years, Kayla has used her experience with children to teach preschool to those from three to five years of age. Uh, for about the same amount of time, she's also instructed children ages three through 17 hip hop dance at Expressions Performing Arts Center in Randolph. While teaching preschool, instructing hip hop dance and taking professional photos, she's a busy lady, taking up the majority of her time, uh, Kayla also has a dream to become a recognized vocalist. She's been a member of the Emanuel Baptist Church Choir since she was three years old. By the time she turned 16, she was directing the choir. You know, I find a lot of musicians and singers start out with their church choirs. I was 10 years old. I used to sing for soprano. <laughs> Believe it or not, now I'm a big old baritone. In her musical theater pursuits with uh, JCC, uh, Walker had roles in 2017's production of Hairspray, uh, 2018's production of Newsies and 2019 production of West Side Story, which they just did, uh, with family-owned Lost Recording Studio at 316 East 4th Street in Jamestown. Kayla has started recording her own music. She intends on releasing singles in the future. Am I jealous or what? All right. If you're interested in new orientation, new student orientation, I've actually been to one of those. Uh, it's going to be held on December 19th, which is like, wait a minute. It's all done. Is it done? January 23rd, I got, I got, see what that says right there? Yeah. yeah. In case you're interested, <laughs> for the next new, that was the old one. The new student orientation will be held on January 23rd. And if you're interested, uh, give them a call, 664-0991. <sighs> now, <clears throat> this is a long one. It always is long because it's from <sighs> Steve, from my buddy there. Where is it here? Ken Hardly. He's very verby. He's very verb. He, he puts a lot of words in his, his things here. So here it goes. Get ready, folks. Rolling Hills Radio will present musician, comedian Deidre Flint and blues artist Gordon Munding for episode 93 on Monday, December 30th. Deidre is a Philadelphia based singer songwriter who stands at the intersection where stand up and folk music collide. She has been a member of the renowned comedy music group. Uh, that she's with ba four babes um, for almost three decades. Initially f filling a slot in the band once held by s such folk notables as Mary Travers, Cheryl Wheeler, and Christine Lavin. Okay, um, Ken Harley. I, I haven't read this ahead of time, so I always prepare for, for really long words. He says the following, after the overwhelming response Christine Lavin got on our stages at Shawbucks in the Chautauqua Amphitheater last season, Recruiting her award-winning friend Deidre was no-brainer. James Allen loves comedy, and this artist is hilarious. I mean, you don't get on Dr. Demento's show singing love songs. I'm not sure what that means, Ken, but I'll, I'll trust you. Gordon Munding takes the stage. He's the guitarist there, carrying the national uh, steel guitar. Uh, far from the fast lane of life, Gordon takes you back to the roots of acoustic blues and folk music from rural America. His playing is influenced by the likes of Doc Watson, Blind Willie McTell, and the slag guitar work of John Mooney and Guy Davis. Gordon has absorbed the styles of these artists and carries on the tradition of country blues. The blues legend Sunhouse was found in Rochester, New York toward the end of his life in relative obscurity. Gordon made it his business to familiarize himself with all the things having to do with this great blues master, including his unique playing style. Okay, so what's the deal? Okay, it's going to be held on, what did I say? December 30th at Shawbucks. It starts at 5.30, they open the doors, they have their uh, rolling happy hour, as you know. Uh, then they stop everything, 6.15, everybody takes their seats, the show goes live at 6.30, and then the best part, besides the music, of course, is the meet and greet where you get to meet the performers and so forth. Tickets are only $15, and if you're interested for tickets, give them a call at 294 0416. Okay, just a couple quick ones, then we're going to get to our show. I know you're anxious over there on the sidelines. <clears throat> babysitting classes. The Children's Safety Village is offering babysitting classes on December 23rd and 30th. The classes are from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. at the Village. That's just down the road on 394 over at the Hughes Center. Each class is limited to 10 students. The class is normally, excuse me, the classes normally at a cost of $75 per youth, but they're offering scholarships for everyone. 
Hmm, I guess it's free. Uh, this is a great opportunity for youth that watch their younger siblings or babysit for others as it teaches valuable safety skills. Registration is required. So give them a call at the Children's Safety Education Village. And finally, uh, Sip and Paint, Winter Visitors. All right, there's a little picture of cardinals in the snow. I guess that's the, what you're going to paint. Saturday, January 11th, over at the Great Discovery Center over in Westfield. Seating is limited. Uh, tickets are $40. Includes everything to make a 16 by 20 painting and complimentary glass of wine. Give them a call at 969-4859 and ask for Lisa. That's it. That's all I got. We're going to take a little break and stay tuned. We got a great holiday show in for you. Okay, folks, I want to uh, welcome you to Chautauqua Sunrise. My guests are many, and I can't introduce all of them at once. I am limited in that respect, but I do want to welcome back to the show, who's been here before, is Ms. Shane Hawkins. Thank you. You are a really important person here today. You're like the boss lady, right? I just organize things. You just organize things. They do things. what Infinity is really all about. Okay. <laughs> so, but, but Shane, you have a, a title of, uh, like, uh, Queen, monarch, <laughs> <No>. chief, <laughs> no. executive director, first lady. Uh, what is your title? Desk worker. Desk um, worker. No, you, no, seriously, <laughs> executive you're the executive director, director yeah. right? So, um, so people hear me talk about infinity mm -hmm. every single. Thank you. Thank week. you for that. We are yeah. happy to. I, I strongly believe. We in appreciate infinity. you. Thank you. Um, tell tell the folks that around the world who are listening, wherever you are. Uh, <laughs> um, what's Infinity and what's it all about? I know it's, it's been around for a while. It has. Uh, we just celebrated our 21st birthday, so we're really excited about that. And it's a music, art, dance, theater program that uses local instructors, local musicians, local artists to mentor and instruct students. And we have performance opportunities and group classes, private lessons, and it's, it's just a really special program. And uh, we point out that this is open to all students in the region, right? It is. It's open to everybody, and there's scholarship opportunities. So uh, we write a lot of grants. Local funders, local uh, people, business people, individuals give funding. And we raise about $45,000 a year to give away to students so that they can also take lessons. Sometimes private lessons are cost prohibitive for families. Uh, sure, so sure. Uh, we want everybody to have a chance. So it's about 30% of our kids are there on scholarship. So. What becomes of these students? All kinds of things. You know, I mean, we worked with 500 kids last year. What? Private lessons. 500? Yeah, 14,000 private lessons. So uh, it's a busy place, well, but I not all of them. You never told me that. Mm -hmm. We probably sent a press release <laughs> at some point. Um, yeah, Imagine it's, that. It's, <laughs> 500. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so so what, 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 where do they move on to? You know, not all of them go on to music and arts, which is just fine. Yep. We're, we're really looking to empower students and to, to build self-confidence and, you know, all of the things that help people be successful no matter what they end up doing. So we do have some professional musicians that come out of the program, of course, mm -hmm. um, professional artists, that type of thing. But we've had doctors and lawyers and teachers and, you know, everything. Uh, all across the board. The whole world, yeah. And being, you know, a musician myself, mm -hmm. I know that... It prepares you for public speaking. It prepares you to in the workforce to Everything. deal with people. Um, think of all the things we were doing this morning to get ready for the show. I mean, we had wires flying around here and things like that. And the crew, we all know how to do that. I mean, that's a lifelong skill. And um, just enjoying music is just a good thing to have in your life, right? So you brought Jamie again. So why don't I you did. introduce Jamie and her role <laughs> at Infinity? You keep showing up. I know. Yeah, That's I great. We're glad we'd to like to bring Jamie places. <laughs> uh, Jamie Lee's a vocal instructor, but this year she's taken on a new role that I'm loving. Uh, she's helping with the assistant queen. <laughs> yes. Oh, performances. What does that mean? Oh gosh. What does it mean? It means that. I talk to a lot of students and parents and instructors and say, hey, let's get your kids singing. Let's get your kids playing the piano. Let's bring them to this show. 
I am pushing kids to perform because I see the potential that's there and they don't always know the opportunities. So I'm there to make sure that they get out there. And then that's kind of where the mentoring comes into because sometimes kids are a little shy to do that. So Imagine that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we just kind of, some of them are eager to go though. Some of them are veterans and some of them are, are new to performing in general. So okay. I am just there to encourage and to support and to help our parents do whatever it is that they need mm -hmm. to um, make it happen. Very and then, good. and I also am trying to coordinate some more of our, um, add a little, I'm, I'm a theater girl, so I'm trying to add a little more theater to everything that I we're doing. I see that, so a little bit of. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit of extra. We had a Christmas show last night. These, most of these kids performed and they were fantastic. Yeah, and of fantastic. course. Yeah. yeah. So you're well, gonna get a we've already seen the, the warm ups today and we were already uh, yeah. impressed. Um, so, uh, why is it important to perform? In hmm. your mind. Is it important to perform? That's it. I, I think the whole experience of getting on stage, and I've talked to you guys about this, um, you're learning life lessons every time you perform. Mm -hmm. um, you are learning not only how to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, uh -huh. but you're also <laughs> learning how <laughs> it's, it's not. Try reading the <laughs> announcements every <Yeah>. morning. <laughs> believe, believe. You are also learning how to problem solve while you're right there yeah. on the fly. There might be an incident. You're learning how to improv. Mm -hmm. And those are things that we deal with in everyday life. I work a full-time job. I also work for Greater Chicago Federal Credit Union. So I am improv left and right. You talk faster <laughs> than I do. Oh, I could, I could read your announcements. <laughs> <laughs> you're hired. <laughs> So I, I am I am I am constantly improving and everything that these kids do when they go on stage, everything I do when I go on stage is part of that. Um, and it's just important when they have talents like what you're about to see, yeah. it's important to showcase right. them. You, you know, we're talking about improving. I don't know how many times I've gone on stage and the microphone starts to swing while I'm trying to chase him. <laughs> yes. uh, Will one time showed up for a gig and didn't have his power cord and I had to go, <laughs> another time we didn't have a, a music stand so I had to go rob somebody, you know, yeah. go searching for things. So you do what you gotta do sometimes. You Improv, know? And, that's life. And you mm -hmm. know, that's great. Yeah. Well, you know, let's, the adults be quiet now and let's talk about these kiddos. So let's introduce them first by name, one at a time and what they're gonna do and then let's get, get them, Comfortable. So who we got first? You can stay right where you are. Who's going to introduce? All right, we're here. We have Pearl. Pearl Rexford, right? Mm -hmm. What are you doing today? I'm going to play the piano. She's okay. playing the piano. All right. And how old are you, Pearl? Nine. You're nine. <laughs> All right. We, we have the same uh, haberdashery. You do. Yeah. <laughs> I like your hat. <laughs> the fur line, though. That's pretty cool. And you're very sparkly today. So are you excited? Okay. How long have you been playing the piano, Pearl? About two years? Five years. Five, oh, wow. years. five years. Oh my goodness, five <laughs> years. Five years. Pearl is really great and she's so eager to perform. Okay. Um, every time I see her, she gets better and better, so I'm super excited for her today. Mm -hmm. All right, would you like me to just go down the line? Uh, ah. One second. Thank you. Okay, there we go. There you okay. go. So you've been playing five years. Who's your instructor? Go ahead and take this. Julie. Julie Anderson. Mm -hmm. Julie Anderson teaches you, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, and you've been with her for five years at Infinity, right? Yeah, just had just a couple. I had a couple. Oh, you've had a couple different ones, but right now you're with Julie. And, and right. who did you bring her today to the studio with you? Who's with you? Who's over there? Mommy. Who else? <laughs> yes. Mommy and Jocelyn and Abigail. Okay, so you're right, part of your family today, so welcome. Okay, let's go on to the next person. Da -da -da, pass on. Who do we have? We have Amaya Thompson. Mm -hmm. So, Amaya, how long have you been singing? Um, for a really long time, almost my whole life. Almost your whole life. And you're new to Infinity, right? You haven't been a student here very long. Yeah. How, how long, long is very long? <laughs> like um, I'm, I don't know. A couple, I think one, two months? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's, she's really new, yes. Um, <coughs> but she's been singing a long time, and her mom's a veteran singer, so. Oh, wow. So she definitely, actually, I think both parents are singers, if I, if I recall, so. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> <laughs> they're both very talented. She comes from a talented family. Okay. Right? Mm hmm Yeah. Right. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> and where do, where do you go to school? I go to Purcell Middle School. Okay. All right, let's keep moving. All right. Here, yeah. we have a Ma Miranda <laughs> Wilcox. All right, and she is 13, 12. 13. 13. <laughs> <laughs> These kids stay the same age, you know, when you meet them. I I, she's still 10 in my eyes. <laughs> um, and what school do you go to? I go to Falconer Middle School. All right. Okay. <coughs> and you are whose student? Dylan Carlson. All right. Miranda, what are you going to be doing today? Uh, singing and playing piano. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. The neat thing about Miranda, too, is that she 
teaches herself a lot of these songs on her own, and she kind of makes her own arrangements. So that'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, that's super good. I like that. It'll be a, a change up on the traditional. Mm -hmm. you, do you know why I do that? Because if I make a mistake, no one will never no one know. Will <laughs> 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 I go, that's how I arranged it. Right. I, I, I intentionally put a flat note in there. <laughs> yeah, I it, was, it was totally intense. Minor. <laughs> okay. And who did you bring today? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Who did you bring today? Uh, over there is my mom and my dad. Okay. And mm -hmm. Maya, your mom's here, right? Okay. And let's go to our next person. Hello. And welcome back. You were here last year. Yes, I was. All right. <laughs> Riley Colsty, she's a voice and a piano student at Infinity. She's, um, who did you bring here with you? You have a huge huh. support system too. I brought my mom, my grandma, and Jamie Lee. She <laughs> did. You brought Jamie Lee? Yes. yes. Who's your uh, instructor? Jamie Lee. Oh, you brought your own. It's, that's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice package deal. All right, well, look, we don't want to run out of time because we want to make sure we have time for everybody. So we may come back for some more discussion. But how about we get our first person up to, to play? So who's first up? All right, so Riley, if you want to. Okay, Jamie's going to take over there. She's the boss here. Okay. So, <clears throat> Pearl, what are you going to play for us today? Okay, so whenever you're ready, go ahead. <laughs>
that was great. I gotta tell you a little story. Um, in our family, when I was uh, raising our kids, we used to get together with my family and my parents and stuff, and we'd always play music just like that. Well, I didn't play piano, but uh, I'd pull out a guitar and we'd be singing. And uh, I found out that my mother really didn't like the 12 Days of Christmas. She said, of all the Christmas songs, that's the one I like the least. And that's the one I played the most. <laughs> and so we actually, I did a, I took, I made a parody of it when for their 50th anniversary, and I, and I, and I took the music again and made her crazy. So anyway, I really enjoyed that very, very much. So uh, how'd you feel up there? Pretty good. You look great on TV, by the way. Okay. So who do we have next? Maya Thompson. Okay. So. Maya. And what are you going to sing for us today? Someday at Christmas by Stevie Wonder. Okay, so we're going to pipe in your music and you belt it right out there. <laughs> Someday at Christmas men won't be boys Playing with bombs like kids play with toys When warm December nights will see a world where men are free mm -hmm. Someday at Christmas There'll be no wars When we have learned what Christmas is for When we have found what life's really worth There'll be peace on earth Someday all our dreams will come to be Someday in a world where men are free Maybe not in time for you and me But someday at Christmas time Someday at Christmas we'll see land With no hungry children, no empty hand One happy morning people will share a world where people care Someday at Christmas there'll be no tears All men are equal and no men have fears One shiny moment our hearts turn away From our world today Someday all our dreams will come to be Someday in a world where men are free Maybe not in time for you and me But someday at Christmas time Someday at Christmas man will not fail Hey, we'll be gone and love will prevail Someday a new world that we can start with hope in every heart Maybe not in time for you and me But someday at Christmas time Someday at Christmas Wow, really nice. Great job, ladies. It's getting better and better. <laughs> this is so exciting. It's just so, I love Christmas music this time of year. Um, so if you're a student at Infinity, Shane, how often do they have lessons? Every week, or how does that work? Well, definitely every week, and some students are there many times during the week. Um, <laughs> Riley is there <laughs> all <laughs> of the time. <laughs> I would say most of these students are normal. <laughs> <laughs> we have group classes and private lessons. Some students take more than one private lesson, and some students are in multiple group lessons. All it's right. all for one. Um, oh, Maya, do you play an instrument? Did you say? Um, I can play the piano, but I don't play the piano. Okay. All right. Oh, the microphone. Okay. All right. Uh, if we if I ask questions, I'll make sure we have them like you're right. Uh, okay, so um, you said there's scholarships. So obviously you can't exist on, on music alone. So there, there's got to be some kind of a cost involved. Yes. Okay. 
And uh, do people pay like weekly, monthly, or, uh, annually? How's that work? Or any way they like. Um, usually monthly, and it's sixty dollars a month if there's not a scholarship involved. Okay. So okay. We try to keep it affordable. We write a lot of grants. So, <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you do piano, guitar. I think we know that drums. Mm -hmm. Then the brass instruments, there's violins. Twenty one or twenty two instruments. That Are you kidding? I'm not. Kidding. Do you have Irish bazooki? <laughs> Are you going to teach it for us? <laughs> we just keep hiring instructors as, <laughs> as we can find them. No. So. You know, that, that's the part I have trouble with is people say, well, teach me how to play mandolin or teach me how to play guitar or whatever. I've never taken a lesson, so I can't teach mm -hmm. it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I, don't ha I don't have the, 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 the skills to show you how to do it. I just do it. Right. So, but your, your instructors do do that. That's pretty amazing. They, they yeah. know how to do it. <laughs> I'm a street right musician now. more than anything else. Well, a lot of these students become that too. They start wanting to accompany themselves, so they start teaching themselves their own instruments. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Miranda. She's been sitting here very patiently. <laughs> <laughs> when do I get on? So, all right. So, are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> so, you get up there, and um, she's going to have a mic there so we can talk to her. Okay, so Miranda, what are you going to play for us today? Um, Old Holy Night. Okay. And this is a, your own arrangement, I understand. Yeah, you can call it that. Uh, we'll call it that. That's what <laughs> I call it. All right, so take your time whenever you're ready. All right. Okay. Brightly shining is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and never's pining till he appeared. I'm going to come back to the rest of you, so I'm going to start with Miranda and, and eventually to everybody. So Miranda, what are your aspirations down the road? What do you hope to be doing musically or not musically? I mean, do you have other plans? You know, I, I've always really been interested in being a veterinarian, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, but I would like to keep music as like a hobby. Yeah. Like coffee shops and such. Yeah. You know, I, I paid through co my way through college playing in bands and things like that. I mm -hmm. mean, it's a great... And I, I know I don't look as old as I, you might think I am, but... I, <laughs> I've been playing for over 50 years, and I'm right. still an active musician, you know, and you can make money on the side to pay for things or just go out for dinner or, or buy something you need, so good for you. So you want to be a veterinarian? Yeah. Do you, you know, I've had dogs, and my dogs love music. Whenever I'm rehearsing, first thing my dog does is it comes right out and lays right next to me and goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I put them right to sleep, but I mean, but <laughs> but but it's soothing, so that's great. So right. keep that going. All right. Well, thank you for doing yeah. that. That was beautiful. All right. Not yet. We're not going to get to you yet. <laughs> She's just ready to go here. So um, 
Shane, you hadn't even told people where infinity is. <laughs> <laughs> it's this thing in the sky. Uh, uh, Jamestown, New York, mm -hmm. and uh, we're located in the Lynn Building, and we moved about four years ago, so it might be new for some people, but uh, for us, we've been there for a while now. It's 301 East 2nd Street, Suite 101. It's a big building. Big so building. 14,000 square feet of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's 16 lesson rooms, two band rooms, two art rooms, and a giant performance space. There's a sound system in there. There's lights. Will and I played there a few years ago. It's really very, very cool. Should come back. Yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know if the students realize what they have. And, and I'm going to. I'm going to talk to you right now, and you can shake your head. Why don't you grab the microphone over there, Miranda, so we can pass this around? Riley, we'll get to you. Please stop. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. <laughs> it's what I do. It's what I do. I drive my family crazy this way, too. Um, if, if you could tell somebody that's listening right now that is shy or has a musical talent, but they don't know if they want to get involved with Infinity, what would you tell them? Miranda or Riley? Either one. I don't care. Oh, pass it on. I would tell them just go for it because... You might not realize it now, but when you get on stage and you just feel that rush, you just, uh, it's something that you always hold on to. And How do you feel before you get, you get up on stage? Um, sometimes I'm nervous. Like yesterday, I wasn't nervous because I was having fun. Mm -hmm. and I know people ask me that all the time. And I'll, and I'll say, do you, do you, they ask me if I get nervous. I said, I'm always keyed up and nervous until I sing the first word, hit the first chord of the instrument, mm -hmm. and it's like, watch out, here we go. <laughs> yeah. It's like, like you said, it's like a rush, isn't it? It's, it's an unbelievable feeling. Okay, how about Miranda? How about you answer that? What would you tell somebody? Um, same thing with Riley. You know, go for it because you might have like a certain, like she said, there's that like rush of performing. Um, you know, if, if you haven't, uh, uh, the first time I performed, I was like probably 10. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really understand all of the aspects of it at the time. Um, but when I was done, you know, I just felt so accomplished. And you might like, through music, you might like unlock or like unleash another part of your life. Because um, um, with the knowing, with the, with the performing in front of people, uh, you will, you will you'll, you'll be better at like talking to people, presenting yourself, social. Um, abilities widen, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think. Okay. <laughs> right. All right. Let's pass it on to Amaya. I want to ask you a different question because you haven't been there very long. Why did you go to Infinity? Um, I felt like I needed to express myself more and get me into more things instead of just singing at my house. I like that too, but <laughs> I want to feel like I want to go somewhere, you know? I do. So, yeah. Basically. You know, um, People can be the best singer in the world, but if they don't have all the social skills and the business skills and the technical skills, they're going to be a flop, right? If you don't know how to, to talk to people, how to present yourself and so forth. What have you learned so far? Um, I've learned the breathing and singing and I'm working more on my diction. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've learned a lot from Infinity. Does, did people ever say to any of you, stop mumbling in front of the microphone? You ever hear oh. that? Oh. <laughs> All the time. All the time. <laughs> Every, all the singers, anyway. Definitely. It, I probably didn't get that so much. Right. But, but, it is, but, but, but people will say to you, stop mumbling. I go, I'm not mumbling. You know, and it's that addiction thing. It, it, is a, it is a form, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, um, Pearl? Pearl, what would you tell other folks that are listening right now? Well, would, would you tell them to, to check it out? Come, come to Infinity? Would and you tell them to come take lessons at Infinity? Yes. Why? <laughs> Why would you tell them that? Is I mean, I've seen you there for a while. Is it, is it fun? Yeah. Is it scary? No. No, okay. <laughs> Are there l kids your age there? Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll think about that <laughs> answer. Are there, oh, Jamie, are there other kids? Are there younger? Oh yes, kids? we go as young as four, and then all the way four. through adults. Yes. Okay. We also and have a birth to five class. 
Mm-hmm. Birth of five? What yeah. do you? Okay. Yeah. What? All right. What? Oh boy. <laughs> and don't you, Pearl has some siblings that's that have been in Infinity too, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you guys take all the art classes and music classes, and ex- we have an exploration class for our younger students, mm-hmm. so they can try multiple instruments, which is really great because then they can figure out where mm-hmm. they want to go. Mm-hmm. Very cool. All right, Riley. All right. You want to do it? Want to get up here now? All right. So. All right. Why don't you introduce <laughs> Riley, Jamie? And we'll All right. This is Riley Colstein. She's right. a piano student of Steve Davis as well as a voice student of me. And why don't you tell them what school you go to? Jefferson Middle School. All right. How old are you? 14. And what are you singing? Mr. Grinch. All right. So why don't you get facing our monitor here? Which one? This one? Yeah, you're good. Right there's good. Okay, Jeff, you want to cue that up for us? And fell down. Yeah. <laughs> You're the mean one, Mr. Grinch You really are a heel You're as cuddly as a cactus You're as charming as a eel, Mr. Grinch You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel, oh yeah. Just face the music, you're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole Oh yeah You're a foul one Mr. Grinch, you're a nasty, nasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed shocks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. Oh yeah, you're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile you have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile mr grinch given the choice between you i'd take the seasick crocodile that best describe you are as followed and I quote stink 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 (laughs) 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 you don't you don't specialize in attitude at all up there do you She's singing about this guy having termites in his smile, and she's doing it so soft. You got these termites in your mouth. It's like, what? <laughs> You're setting this up. So, uh, Riley, what are your plans for uh, the, future the future as far as music or whatever? Well, I'm thinking about maybe being an elementary teacher or, you know, hanging out with little kids. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe being involved with the church or doing stuff there. I know this seems hard to believe also, but I was a teacher for 15 years, and I encourage you to do it. And you can take music in, because I used to have a guitar in my room and sing, like, every day. Okay, I know this seems hard to believe, but we have a phone call. So, should we, t- should we ask them to talk to us? Yeah. Maybe they're going to say something about yeah. Okay, we'll find out. I have no idea. Who is it? Good morning, caller. Well, good morning. This is Linda Spalding. I hate to call because I don't want to interrupt this 
wonderful musical performance that we're having. They are really talented. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. you. People are actually watching the show? <laughs> <laughs> And, and I, I noticed how professional you are. And uh, are you talking you about me or the girls? <laughs> they are very professional. I'm watching the way they breathe when they sing. That's just re they're really wonderful. Well, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I'm so glad to hear that your uh, your 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 studio is in the Lynn Building. That's a beautiful building in Jamestown. Very good. And, that used to be called the Commons Mall years ago. Um, different building. It used to be the post office. Oh, the po oh, I, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, that's a beautiful building. <laughs> <laughs> They're all beautiful, <laughs> though. <laughs> Jamestown is at the geography in the building. Linda, you're on your own on this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, you said Lynn Building, and um, it, that's named after Gary Lind, right? Correct. Oh, well, he also has the other building that used to be the yeah. Commons Mall. Yes, the Spain building, it's called. Now. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, yeah. So I thought they just changed the name because <laughs> he owned it. I, you know, I didn't pay attention to the number that you mentioned. <laughs> but I, I do really enjoy the, the, the. That's a very spacious place. I'm glad they're using that Great. and that you're using it. Great. Well, I wanted to announce that we do have our senior employment program. People okay. are calling me and they're getting jobs. It's a good time to be looking for work. The national unemployment rate, by the way, right now is 3.5%. Okay, watch this, everybody. Jeff, ready? Let's pop it up. Right along here. The phone number. The phone <laughs> number for Office for Aging, for Senior Employment and Training Services and other senior services in Mayville is 753-4471. There it is! <laughs> It's magic! <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and and have, have a wonderful weekend and a beautiful Christmas. All right, you too, Linda. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. Okay. Where were we? You're going to be a teacher. Oh, so uh, you can use music in your classroom or with little children. They love it. Okay, we haven't talked to these other two ladies what they're planning to do down the road. So, Maya, what are your, your, what's your future plans with music? Um, I want to continue like singing and all that stuff. That's still. Are you always this chill? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, okay, I got this. Right so uh, go ahead. Um, I yeah, I want to continue singing and um, I want to be like a music teacher. Oh, okay. That actually like sings and all that stuff because mm -hmm. all the music teachers in my school don't sing. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we can't do it all. <laughs> Not everybody's a great singer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I want to do in my future. Just keep music. Okay. In and what kind of music? Um, I mean, like I like jazz, jazzish music, and like soft music. That's what fits me the most. Mm -hmm. I would like to try like more upbeat music and all that stuff. Yeah, that's something. That's one of my goals. Okay, great. <laughs> all right, very good. Well, hopefully, we'll see you again. Okay, let's go to Pearl. Pearl. You're playing the piano, and what do you hope to be doing maybe in a few years with music? Keep playing. Keep playing. <laughs> do you have special kind of music you like to play? Do you like classical, or do you like uh, church music? What, yeah. what do you play? I go to church okay. every Sunday. That's a good place, a good place. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to tell us about what you're thinking about when you grow up? Get older like me? I'm gonna be a chef. You wanna be a chef? You can be this you can be the, the musical chef. Have a big piano bar and you can be throwing food around and playing the piano and all that stuff. <laughs> That'd be great. What kind of food would you prepare? I don't know. Anything. Do you watch those uh, cooking shows? On TV? What? Like Chop for Kids. They have the on T V they have cooking shows. For some reason my wife and I have been watching those a lot lately. Must be she wants me to improve my cooking skills. <laughs> okay, well, we'll sit back a little bit. Well, folks, you've been watching She's Talk with Sunrise, and we're down to about four and a half minutes here. So I hope you've enjoyed our program so far. So, uh, oh, Jamie wants to say something. Uh, you took the microphone from Pearl. What do you want to say? No, I'm good. You want to say anything? I've got my own mic. How many, oh, okay. So, uh, how many students do you have? Oh, gosh, I think I have, uh, if you can include my group classes. Um, 25. That's a lot of kids. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're fun. 
Okay, and what ages do you work with? Oh, uh, as young as um, eight, and is I have adult students. What? Yeah. Adults can come there. Yeah, adults. You can didn't come tell there. me this. See, all ages. All ages. We would bring you, but you're already skilled and talented. Oh, you're too <laughs> kind. <laughs> There's there may be still hope for me. Okay. <laughs> Um, so let's get back to the hours and, and so forth and days of the week, mm -hmm. um, Shane. Uh, six days a week, and we're open until, you want me to go through every day? <laughs> Monday until uh, 7. Is, is <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday and Wednesday we're open until 8, uh, Thursday until 7, and Fridays until 6. We have performance nights on Thursdays, so. Uh, <coughs> this is you? kind of unprecedented. <coughs> we have another phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I have one a week. Good morning, caller. Good morning. I'm calling to tell the girls, you girls did a wonderful job. You all girls sound great. I hope you all continue to pursue your dreams. Um, Amaya, you did wonderful, honey. Your family from New Jersey loves you. We're listening from all the way over here. You're in New Jersey? New Jersey. How do we look? You guys look fantastic. <laughs> oh, how cool. Everybody did great. Such a good job. I, I, I tuned in. To see Amaya, she did a great job. All the girls did amazing. Um, just keep your heads up, ladies, and keep doing what you have to do. Anything you want to tell her? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you for calling. Thank you. Okay, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're around the world. We did it. <laughs> Anybody from Holland can call in. It's seven. <laughs> Seven five three. <laughs> okay, Riley, do you want to say something? You grabbed the microphone like with such authority. I don't know. Uh, I thought I was gonna. Thought they were gonna ask questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were prepared. You okay. Proactive. Yeah. Okay. So throughout the year, you have different events. So what what kind of things do you do besides show up here once a year? Well, last night we had a big holiday event. It was the first one that Jamie coordinated for us, and it was fantastic. It mm -hmm. was um, it was great, right? <laughs> did all did all I, you play last night? These three did. We did. Pearl played at our recital, which uh -huh. was earlier this month, um, mm -hmm. but all of them have per performed on our stage. Did, and did you this play month. last night what you did here? Or did you do something different? I had a dancer. You, you <laughs> did have a dancer. <laughs> it you made did. more sense when you, know, you saw the dancing part. We had a, we had, who, was the, who was the dancer? Lexi. Mm -hmm. and what did she do? What? What, did she, what, what, kind of, what was she? She was the Grinch. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you sang with her performing? Yeah. Oh, that been fun. Yeah. It was fun. And I was an MC. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. MC is good. Students MC too. All right. Well, ladies, we're down to a minute and 15 seconds. So I'm going to, Shane, do you want to say anything more? Uh, thank you to all of these yeah, wonderful right. performers. Uh, it makes our job so much easier when they're willing to, to do things like this. And it, it promotes the program to other students. So you're serving so many positive things right and now. And although thank I you. say it every week, your phone number and your uh, website, why don't you do yeah. it this week? <laughs> I also want to say thanks to Jamie because she's made my life so much easier this month. <laughs> We've had so many performances. Uh, phone number is 716-664-0991 and okay. the website is infinityperformingarts.org. Okay. So. And Jamie, you want to say anything more? Yes, we couldn't do any of this if it wasn't for the support of our parents and our community. Yes. Um, the community really comes through and supports us and like everyone here, their parents brought them here. I mean, thank you for all of your parents that are here today and all of the Infinity parents, they do a lot. So thank all you. All right. Yeah. Well, we're gonna wrap the show up. So I wanna thank all of you lovely ladies for performing today, Pearl, Amaya, uh, Miranda, and Riley. And thank you, uh, Jamie and Shane for joining us. Thank you. Folks, uh, I'm going to sign off here in a second. I want to thank the parents as well, because we know my dad slept our amplifiers and guitars around for years as well, so I get it. So folks, have a Merry Christmas and a, and a, and a, and a, and a Happy Hanukkah for those of you uh, out there. Um, I'm Doc Hamels, and we're going to sign off here at Chautauqua Sunrise. We're going to do this all again next week, uh, and I hope you enjoyed the music today of these fine ladies from Infinity Performing Arts. So you take care, and uh, drive safe, and enjoy your families, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.